Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install a PF sense on a physical machine. So if you have watched my videos installing a PF sense on a VMware, you might have already tried to install this one. Now if you want to deploy this one on an environment like maybe at home as your firewall or in a business uh, enterprise or I don't know what you want to do it because PF sense is free, open source. Now what I'm going to show you is to install it on a physical machine. Now the minimum requirement for uh, PF sense is at least you have one gigahertz of speed of the uh, processor and one gigabyte of RAM. And at the same time, you should also have two network cards. So here I have a old PC, not actually very old, but uh, the recommendations of PF sense would be at least four years older up to date. All right, so like way back four years, it will be okay to support the PF sense software. Now, if you can see here, I have the built-in NIC card, and then I have added another card. So, uh, you can add more if you want to, if your motherboard supports it, then that will be good. Maybe you want to employ it, uh, deploy more uh, LAN, okay? Or maybe other interfaces for other services, for servers, for Wi-Fi, and so on and so forth. But uh, as per minimum, you should have two, one for WAN, one for LAN, okay? So, I'm just going to restart this one, and uh, Boot this one from the disk because I have a uh, okay. So for me, I have a disk. Actually, uh, I have already burned this one into a disk. Now, if you have watched my videos on the VMware, you can download PFSense OS on pfsense.org. Now you can do this one on a, you can put it on a flash disk if you want to. But for me, I've already downloaded this one before. I have it on my disk, so I have an optical drive there. You can see here. I'm going to boot it there. Okay, so it will boot up from the optical drive and then we're going to co continue installing this one. So this will, this will be the one that you're going to see on your screen if you're uh, installing this one. Uh, take note here, we have a countdown, so we'll just wait it for to last for five, uh, I mean, how, how many is that, like 10 seconds. So we'll just wait for it. I've been using PFSense for quite a long time and it has been good. So I've been deploying this one to clients, I've been doing it for like four or five years. We'll just wait to do it. Well, we need to wait for this one to load up. So you, you will have an option here. You'll have an option here. Press R to enter recovery and press I to launch. Note you have a countdown here, so you need to select one of those and then to press I because what we want is the installer. So there you go. It will install. It will take some time again. There you go. So what you can see here is uh, if uh, we don't need to change these settings so we can just go down here and accept the settings then we can go for quick and easy install now maybe later on if you, you want to go in uh, more advanced configurations you can select one of those but for now we can select quick and easy and then go for ok So here we go, we just press on the standard kernel, then we can proceed. So basically it's very similar to installing it on a PFSense, I mean uh, on a VMware. Or probably you, you're installing it on a virtual box, it will be also the same. This, since we already have, it's this already done, we can reboot and just wait. So you can see here we can access the web GUI from one to one to data one to one. The default username will be admin and the uh, password will be pfsense. So next, I, I need to change the boot cycle of this one once this is going to restart so that it will not boot from my disk or probably you can uh, remove the disk. I'll just press this one so that it will come out. And then since this is my disk, all right? I'm just going to select my hard drive because it's already installed in my hard drive. So uh, I can enter that. So there you go, it's booting up.
Okay, you can see here, uh, you have, uh, yeah, this one, because this is only the state. So RE0, RE1. Now, if you don't know which interface is RE0 and RE1, I'm just going to show you a, a better way of uh, identifying that. So I have uh, two cards. I don't know which one is RE0 and RE1. Now, before we go get into that, uh, there's a question here, should VLANs be set up now? Now, we are not going to set up VLANs right now, so what we need to do is we just press N and then we can go for Enter. Now, the next question we'll be having is Enter the one interface name or A for auto detection. Now, we don't know which one of these is RE0 and RE1. Now, basically, the technique is name A or A for press A for auto detection. This is what we're going to do. So, I have here a link. The only thing we need to do is uh, uh, get rid of this one. Now, the other end should be up. Okay, you, you can use a switch, a laptop, or anything that has an, a link that when you plug it into the network card, it will go up since the state is down. Okay, so for now, we want to do an auto detection. So I'm going to press A. I'm going to press the one and then press enter. Now you see, connect the one interface now and make sure that the link is up. This is the, then press enter, okay? So I, I want to use this one as my one. I don't know if this is RE0 or RE1. I'm just going to uh, plug this card, all right? This laptop should be on. So you can see it's up, it's uh, blinking. So you say, RE0 link state change to up. Meaning this will be our one interface. So I'm just going to press enter so that it will get that configuration. Now, uh, you can see the one. Uh, the next question is uh, the LAN interface name or A for auto detection. Now, we only have two cards, but if you have multiple cards and you don't know which one is the card that you want to use, you can go for auto detection. Now, on our scenario here, we have two cards. We already know our one, and then, of course, the remaining one is the RE0. Okay, so we can uh, put it here RE0, I mean RE1. Okay, so we can press enter. That is for your LAN now. Enter the optional one interface name or A for auto detection, okay? We don't have any additional cards. That's why no need to put something here. We can just press enter, you can move on. Do you want to proceed? Yes, of course. Okay, just double check. One RE0 LAN, RE1. So yes, of course. Then enter, and there you go, that's it. Now, where we use this one is just to identify which was the one in the LAN. Now, on our LAN interface, we have 192.168.1.1. .1 .1. That is the default for PXNs. Now, on my tutorial on the VMware, we changed the uh, IP address, the default one. We can change it also, but for now, it is not necessary because um, on the VMware that we made, I made, I'm running other services on my laptop, uh, 192.168.1.1. So for now, we don't need to change that one since it's only standalone. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to 192.168.1. We identified that this is our WAN a while back. This will be our LAN. So I'm just going to unplug this one and I'm going to plug it here. So we should have an IP coming up from here. I'm just going to show you. And then probably I'm going to transfer the monitor to here so that you can see it on a wide screen. Now, I'm just going to show you here. So we don't have an uplink. But we can try and open this one. We can press one. Oh, I have it there already saying one and two, the one six eight that one that one. I'm just going to press enter. If you have this message, it's actually because of the SSL certificate. So I'm just going to proceed. There you go. I'm just going to type admin and PF sense. Oops. Admin PF sense. So you can see here, we have uh, log options here. So you can see error occurred because we had a mistake a while back and then this one uh, successful login because we were already logged in. Now to show you that one, because I don't know if you can see it, I'm just going to transfer, what is the, oh yeah, this doesn't have any, uh, what about this one? Uh, VJ, so I'm just going to put this one on a big screen 
I'm just going to use a uh, HDMI cable just to show you. Well, we're actually done, but I just want to show you. I'll just remove the cable coming up from the box, and then I'm just going to put it here in my one. All right. There you go. That's my PF Sense. I don't know if you can see that one. Okay, it's the same. So see you next time, guys. And I'm coming up with more tutorials regarding PF Sense. So watch. Wow, wake up for more videos.